Good morning. Uh, Crap to Crane in the top shed, looking at work progress so far. So I've now fitted the vinyl top to the dash, um, as you can see. So the way I did this was I marked it all up, put some marks, datum marks on the vinyl and on the car. And I asked my wife to give me a bit of a hand and she held the right hand side and I did place the left hand side in position and I got it to halfway and then I, then I laid the second half down aligning all the marks. I then cut all the slots out with a Stanley knife or a box cutter and replaced the VIN plate and the stud for the cockpit cover, tonneau cover, whatever you want to call it. We also started cutting out the holes for the dash to go back in, which is not the same as normal. Some of you will notice that this is a lot narrower than what will be regarded as a normal MGB because it's a left hand to right hand conversion. These little ugly brackets here, <laughs> they're for holding the bottom of the dash. And you'll see I've done some soundproofing so the soundproofing sort of and I've also got enough confidence to stand on the floor which is a bit of a bonus now so yeah use this so this is sound deadening it's not a hundred percent coverage and the bolting that holds the seats on the floor leaves something to be desired which I've got to do some work on that at some point I think that's yeah and then round this side I've now fixed the door lock so that's all working as it should now just a little bit of adjustment to do there to finish that off but the riv nuts worked a treat so that was good to see the floor obviously the floor repair which you would have seen from an earlier video it's all solid now so that's all done and then we've got a myriad of bits here that I've got to fix up. Mind you, I'm using an electronic speedo now with the with the MX-5 gearbox that I'm going to fit. And I've also looked into the purchase of fitting rear discs because I just with the fitting of supercharger, I just want to upgrade the brakes a bit because they're not 100 percent. So yeah, I'll go through that later on with the fitting of the disc kit. Hasn't actually arrived yet. But I think that's about all I've got up here right now where I'm up to. I think I've started sticking the carpets back in again. And I've done a bit of vacuuming. I'm not saying that'll be the end of it. I'll no now need some more vacuuming before the end. I've also got to fit a new isolator switch. The, uh, the handle has broken off somewhere. Who knows where that is. But I think that's about it. Yeah, so onward and forward and I'll just whiz down to the other shed now and do the bit of progress that I've had down there. Right oh done there I'm in the other shed so I've now uh, repainted the front panel the radiator that holds the radiator so that's all we done I put two new rubber grommets in there they weren't the easiest things to get in but a bit of silicon grease helped with that so that's all ready to go back in not that I'm anywhere near close to fitting it yet and as one gentleman noticed um, I hadn't put the rubber grommets on the heater box so just to show I've put them on now so that's all finished apart from the, obviously the heater motor which has got to go back on again so thank you very much indeed for pointing that out to me always willing to take constructive comments and do something with them got my windscreens down the back here well I've got a couple of windscreens right neither of which I can use right now so for various reasons so I'm waiting for some seals for the front one and from the back one yeah I think having this off will tell enough tales I'm putting a new bottom seal on and uh, yeah from those of you who've watched a previous video you'll know the fun I had putting a bottom seal in so the bottom seal on this one's okay it's got plenty of life left in it so I'm not going to be tempting fate and doing that one as well so I'm not yeah 
And so, for, if you wanted to uh, interested about me, I I was obviously born in the UK. I was born in a place called Heswell. I emigrated to Australia in 1990, and I've worked for a large major oil and gas company for the last 30 odd years, and I'm now retiring. I was being asked, I, re, I was made redundant in 2020. I've now come, gone back there on a project, and I've been working sort of semi-part full-time, um, and now I've been released again because the project's got to that stage where it no longer requires my services as a machinery engineer for now. So, yeah, I'm moving back into the shed again and moving back into retirement and doing the jobs around the house that I should be doing. All right, I think that's about it. I'll uh, speak to you soon when I make some more progress. And thank you very much indeed for subscribing and following. I never thought I'd be one to be getting, wanting to get close to this thousand subscribers, but it seems within reach now, so keep on subscribing, and yeah, thank you very much indeed, and I'll catch you soon, hopefully with more progress.